Canada is heading towards a total gun ban. Justin Trudeau's government imposing an outright ban on most semi-automatic rifles and freezing the sale of handguns across the country. From all what's happening north of the border, let's check in now with Michael Charbon. He joins us live. Hey, Michael. Uh, good afternoon, John. Liberal Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has put into effect Bill C-21, which basically is a national freeze on the sale, purchase, and or exchange of handguns. You can't even bring a handgun into Canada now. Um, and all, all of the, the premises is they're trying to get some kind of a comprehensive gun control back. They banned over 1,500 types of a, what they're calling assault rifles and handguns, and they've expanded the, um, uh, the gun controls. We are, we're already under huge controls here. Any gun that has a barrel length smaller than four inches or four inches is, is not uh, allowed to be licensed. It's considered a Saturday night special. So they're bringing all these added uh, added penalties. And one of the things is a red flag law. You're well aware of that in the United States. Who determines that? Can a neighbor just make a fraudulent call and put you into problems? So Many of the provinces here in Canada don't want to deal with this. They think it's, a, it's an intrusion on civil liberties. And the government's uh, saying, well, we're going to buy these guns back for 1000 to 2100 bucks each. And the government says that there are 150,000 150, legally registered firearms in Canada, which they want to bring back. And as to your uh, opener, Marco Mendocino, who's a minister of public safety here, he says that he will not rule out a complete ban on handguns. The problem is, is the same thing that you have in the United States. The difference is um, ours is uh, illegal handguns that are coming from the United States. They're vended up here between four and $6,000 for one gun, but it is all gang-oriented. It is black-on-black -black crime, and basically it's putting people who are legitimate handgun owners and who have to be part of a club and a shooting club and long uh, rifle people uh, who are using it for farming, et cetera, who are being put under a restriction. And the final point, is. This is a terrible one. In 2002, the Canadian government wanted to institute a gun registry. They spent a billion dollars to register, you ready for this? 15 million handguns. So it's it's just a little, it's it's a little out of sorts here. And there's a lot of people who are getting very upset. From what uh, I understand, uh, Al Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and New Brunswick, they've come out and said, look, we don't really necessarily intend to participate or even provide the police with the resources needed to enforce this. Give us uh, that side of the story. So who's going to pay for the hand, handgun registry? Who's going to go and collect them and do that? Well, the RCMP, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, they're already stretched. They don't have the budget. And these provinces, most of them west of Ontario, are saying, we're not going to we're not going to participate in them. We're, we're, we're claiming provincial sovereignty. I mean, it's a whole boondoggle. It's a liberal attempt to uh, infringe on legal handgun owners where a situation is brought in by illegal handguns that are coming through the borders, through many borders that are porous, which have water and have Indian reserves that are coming through. This is where the problem is. It's not yeah. legitimate handgun owners and people who belong to shooting clubs or use handguns on their farms or in their work. I mean, it's exactly the same problem you're having in the States, except you guys have way more guns than we do, and well, any Michael, of the illegal guns are coming from the states. Well, Michael, at some point when we have about you know three hours, you're going to have to explain to me how Justin Trudeau gets elected with 30 percent support in that country. Uh, that's a topic for another day. We'll have to leave it here for now. Canadian correspondent Mayor, Michael Charbon, great to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, John.